Right now we're joined by Anthony Payton, head coach of the Massachusetts Pirates, as he gets ready for his first ever run in the playoffs. Have you given yourself a chance to think about that a little bit? Not at all. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't matter to me. It's a football game. That's how I look at it, you know. Um, of course, the stakes are higher, but I'm not going to sit here and, and pretend, oh, yes, yeah, a playoffs. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I work the same way, no matter whether it's New York, Orlando, Columbus, Carolina, Jacksonville. I only know one way to go, and it's 100%, you know. So, um, you know, our players, I told them this morning, I always got something to tell them in the morning, right? So, you know, Marty was like, he got in the group me and he said, look, man, we got to tighten up this week and, and we got to do more film study. My thing is, I told him in the meeting today, is I appreciate that, I appreciate the effort, I appreciate the urgency, but we should be like that all the time. Whether it is, is you know, playing New York or it's playing Columbus or whomever, you know, just like the mom taught me a lesson a long time ago, whatever you do, do it 100 percent. Whether it's taking out a trash, you're gonna be a trash man, be the best trash man you can, you can be. You're gonna be a musician, be the best musician. So I want to instill in those guys. It don't matter who you're playing. We got a game to play with professionals. We got to prepare as such. No matter if it's New York, the best team in the league. If, if, no matter if it's the best team in the league or it's the, the the team with the least record in the league. We got to prepare like it's gonna be our last game every single time. And so that's the message that's going around today. So as far as me worried about playoffs, whether I'm not even, I mean thinking about that. I'm not thinking about the title of everything. I'm thinking about we got another game. To win and so that's how we're going to repair this week you're playing the carolina cobras second seed against the third seed probably the best matchup in the playoffs okay you know no disrespect to jacksonville or columbus but you know jacksonville's run off what 13 wins in a row so mm -hmm. you know odds makers will say you know that game may be a foregone conclusion but when you look at this particular matchup some people will say they beat you handedly mm -hmm. first two times mm -hmm. But that's when your team was a bunch of neophytes. We definitely didn't have all our weapons. You know, Thomas Claiborne was down. Brandon Washington did a great job stepping in the center, but he's never played a center in his life. You know, um, and we, you know, I didn't play, I didn't call my best game. Sean didn't play his best game. Um, the second time he played him, Devin was just coming off a CFL workout where he ran so much, so he didn't have all this gas. Um, but now we've gotten better. Defensively, we've gotten better. You know, and, and that's going to be the, the tail of the, of the tape is, is how well the defense plays. Because we, we run through them. Even though this is an offensive game, when our defense goes out there and gets turnovers like they've been doing, get pressure on the quarterback like they've been doing. It makes it very hard for offense to operate. And if we can slow Carolina's offense down we can, and we stay on schedule, we'll win this game. I'm going to single out one performer who could be a major factor in the difference in this game. Okay. A couple weeks back, Mike Weaver joined a team. Some weeks they were scratching their heads. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he's good. I don't know. 14 points in his last game. Four deuces. Mm-hmm. Tied the record, yeah. Uh, there you go. I mean, if, if he has anywhere near that kind of game, Pirates have an edge. You know, I was thinking about it. You know, Mike has a big leg. And, you know, first when he got here, he couldn't really get a field for the game because his first game was against New York. And, of course, the, the, the dimensions of everything there is a little bit off. We played here. You know, he was putting the ball in the middle of the field, you know, and I told him, I said, Mike, and, and, and understand, I don't miss my, my kickers at all. You know, those guys, are, they have their routines. I don't touch it. I'm like, look, do your thing. Just make, make kicks for us, you know. So he wanted to keep the ball in the middle of the field. It kind of threw him off. I think what helped him this game, this past game we played when he had four deuces, it was like he was outdoors. And if you watch that ball fly, it was it was a top of the dump jumbotron every single time. So if he can just get his 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 steps right and his angles right, I feel like he'll have another game. I think he'll break the record. You know, I think he'll get five deuces this game. I believe in him. You know, and Carolina's one of those those arenas where you can kick the ball high. Craig Peterson did it when he was here, and he kicked a lot of deuces in that in that in that on, on that field. So I feel like Mike has gotten in a groove. He had a great game this past week, and I think he's going to be able to do the same things coming up week. Another wild card. Could be the play of uh, Rennell Hall. Oh, here's, here's a guy who came in a couple days of practice, mm -hmm. goes out and actually played pretty well. And I feel like he's just going to get better. You know, he came in and, and he had a, he had a little few mix-ups with the with the huddle calls and all stuff like that. But understand, this stuff happens so fast. You know, so sitting on paper, sitting on the board, you might do great with it and pass tests. But when them bullets start flying, it's totally different. But we're going to have him ready this week. You know, we're going to put him in a big role. I I feel like he's going to do some great things, and he's going to be another reason why we win this game. Preparation is key with you. Mm -hmm. What's that one thing you need to? You say, if, if I'm going to zero in on something, I want to do this. Running our roster conviction. You know, I guarantee you now, right now, 
you know, TC and Robert Brown and Mike Green or saying who says, oh, we ain't got to worry about the Master Chiefs Pirates because Devin's soft. He's not going to. But I'm, I'm putting in their minds that we're going to be aggressive this game. We're going to run routes like conviction. We want to win the championship. It's going to be a dog fight down there, you know. And so we bring our hard hat and our shovel. We're going to get to work, you know. I tell them all the time, the road to success is always under construction, so bring your shovel. That's our little thing we do before every game and before every practice. Bring your shovel. Pick up your shovel. Let's go to work. And so I'm going to have those boys ready to play. To Anthony Payton, head coach of the Massachusetts Pirates as they go on the road this week in the playoffs to take on the Carolina Cobras. Go Pirates.